it's a lady in London here. Today I want to take you on my self-guided walking tour along the Thames in London. It will take you all the way from Chelsea to Rotherhithe, and along the way you'll see everything from the embankment to the South Bank, parks, landmarks, gardens and more. It's a great one to do if you want to see a lot of London in one go. As always, the full route and map are on my blog, aladyinlondon.com, but for now let's go see what we find. This walk starts at Sloan Square Station. You can get here on the tube or by foot from other parts of the local area. Start your walk by heading down Sloan Gardens and the other streets that lead to the Thames. There's beautiful architecture and cafes here, so don't miss them. Once at the Thames, you'll walk along Chelsea Embankment. There are great views across the river here, but there's also a lot to see on the land side. Don't miss things like the Royal Hospital, Chelsea Physic Garden, and stunning buildings along the street. After crossing Albert Bridge, you'll find yourself in Battersea Park. The park is a great place to soak up the scenery or take a rest if you need one. After crossing the river again, you'll walk through Chelsea and Pimlico. Keep your eye out for great views across the river as you go. As you make your way into Westminster, you'll spot more landmarks. From Tate Britain to the London Eye, there's a lot to take in here. From Westminster, you'll cross the bridge into Lambeth. This part of the walk offers great views of the Houses of Parliament. Soon you'll find yourself on the South Bank. You can take some time here to ride the London Eye or see the other attractions.
After walking through Bankside, you'll get to Borough Market. This is London's most famous food market, and it's worth stopping here to pick up a snack or a meal. After the market, you'll pass Southwark Cathedral and the area around London Bridge. Once you've emerged from Hayes Galleria, you'll find yourself on more London Riverside. This area has spectacular views of Tower Bridge. After passing Tower Bridge, you'll make your way into Butler's Wharf. There are more good views here. After walking across bridges and through some tunnels, you'll make your way over to Rotherhithe. Rotherhithe has great history. Not only are there some great riverside pubs here that date way back, but there's also connections to the pilgrims who sailed on the Mayflower to what's now the United States in 1620. Your walk ends at the Overground Station in Rotherhithe. If you want a farther walk, you can go all the way to Greenwich. Thanks for coming along on this self-guided walk with me. As I mentioned before, the full route and map are on my blog, aladyinlondon.com, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel before you go. Happy walking.